Good morning, Lighthouse. It's day 20. Uh, we have one more day to go, and I'm so excited about what God is doing, and I'm, I'm super pumped about the testimonies that I'm hearing uh, as a result of fasting already. I know there's going to be more testimonies to come over the next few weeks and months as we continue in 2013. I'm so excited to have my dad with me, and uh, I want him to share just a little bit about his first experience with fasting. Uh, he has over 40 years of experience in pastoring, and uh, he firsthand knows the importance of what fasting can do in your life. And so he's just going to share with you an experience he had as a young man, as a young minister, and it really just kind of set, uh, set in motion uh, supernatural things in his life. And so many of you don't need an introduction, but for those of you that don't already know my dad, this is uh, Pastor Reverend Lonnie Harris. And so, Dad, will you just share uh, just that experience that you had several years ago? When I was a young pastor, I think I was 24 years of age, I pastored a place called Paducah, Texas. And so a guy came, an evangelist came and said, you need to read Gordon Lindsay's book on fasting and learn how to get into the supernatural realm of things. And I said, okay, I'll do that. So I began to read the book and I was so convinced that fasting would change everybody's lives. So I, was, I read the book. So I tried to fast it for three days, no, just water only, and I began to fast. And it was one of the hardest things I've ever did. But I realized that through that, supernatural things began to happen in my life. Miracles, signs and wonders, financial blessings. When I fasted and got a hold of that, I wanted what this evangelist had taught me about the spiritual authority. So therefore, when I was just a young man, God visited our church in a marvelous way. He did things that is unbelievable to me. But if you want to get into the unbelievable realm, learn how to fast and pray. Because I've been doing it since I've been a young man, 24 years of age, and that's where the supernatural comes through, fasting and praying. Amen. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.